showcase it for the day. Now, what time is this? When is it? All that good stuff. It is October 17th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 9 to 3. And how many vendors do you usually have? We usually get about 50 vendors. It's indoor, outdoor. Uh, we have each vendor donate a raffle prize, and all the raffle proceeds go to Op Operation Care. So. Operation Care. Yeah. Good organization. We had them on uh, last week. Got Tammy up bright and early. Yeah. <laughs> She's very mad at me. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Tammy's not a morning person, everyone. Hopefully you greeted her with coffee. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah, with kid gloves. Kid gloves, so... <laughs> Yeah, you gotta, gotta gotta be nice to the boss when you get her up that early in the mm -hmm. morning. So uh, this is the third annual? Fifth. Fifth annual, excuse Fifth me. Fifth annual. And what kind of things will we see there? Uh, we have all kinds of things. Uh, we have lots of crafters that are bringing like crochet items, woodwork, leather work, um, some of beauty products. We have um, candles. We have, oh gosh, J.R. Watkins. Uh, we have Kimberly Freeman will be there doing Reiki. Oh, cool. Kind of, yeah, yeah, that'll mm -hmm. be really fun. Um, all kinds of home decor, and of course, damsel defense, non-lethal personal security, mainly geared towards women. Stun no, guns, and, and yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> tasers? No tasers? Stun guns. No tasers. Stun guns. Yeah. What's Stun the guns. difference? Do you know the difference? Tasers actually project out and stick in the subject, two prongs. Stun gun requires direct contact. I got stunned once by one of those on a bet. Wow. That was not a good idea. Yeah, I imagine not. No. <laughs> I'm still twitching. That was like 10 years ago. So the event is how how much does it cost? It's forty dollars for a booth. Okay, mm -hmm. and to get in, it's free. To yes, get in? admission's free. Yeah. Admission is free, best price mm -hmm. in the world. And this is a this is a good organization. They do a lot of things for a lot of uh, individuals that need a lot of help. Yes, and of... we also encourage people to bring like duffel bags or a clean new duffel bags or reusable grocery bags because Operation Care says they need that a lot of times to gather items in for people that have come to the shelter. Gotcha. Now, how did you end up being the promoter for this? I don't know. <laughs> to tell you the did you truth. you show up late for a meeting? <laughs> no, you know? I do a lot of events out of town, and I thought, you know, we really don't have anything in town. Right. So, um, yeah, started five years ago and just kind of been running with it ever since. Very good. So, um, sh explain this shabby chic furniture. Shabby chic. We have people bringing some shabby chic furniture that they have now, what done, is that? finished. What is shabby it's kind chic? Of a, Vintagey look, I guess. Gotcha. Home decor. There's Pre also another lady who will be there who sells the items to actually do your own shabby chic right. furniture. And it could, you know, if there's people locally that have a small business that like to come showcase it in a different atmosphere for the day, then they're more than welcome to showcase there too. Very cool. And um, Damsels in Defense, is that your? No, okay. it's not mine. It's like a direct selling company. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen them before. It's, and, you they're know. all over. Yeah. yeah, and some of them, some of the things that they sell are like hidden in little, like one looks like a lipstick kind of thing. Um, we don't have the lipstick one, but we, you know, they're cute. We figure if they're cute, and women will use them to accessorize and carry them with them because it Ex doesn't work from home. Accessorize. <laughs> yeah. Accessorize your stun gun. They'll bring it. Put some it's blingy and cute. I was going to say mm -hmm. bling, a blingy stun gun, <laughs> a blingy stun gun. Uh, so that is Saturday, October 17th. Mm -hmm. uh, have, have they always done it there at the picnic ground? Yes. You get a good turnout? We get a good turnout, yeah. If uh, people need uh, vendor info, where do they call? Um, actually, you can email me at holidayhoopla at yahoo.com. Holidayhoopla at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. uh, vendor info, is this you? This number right here? Um, yes. 256-1133. Mm -hmm. Your phone's ringing off the hook as we speak. It is. That's good. And uh, approximately how many vendors do you know? that we have for this? Um, we usually end up with about 50. That's a and, lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, so you get a good turnout then, no doubt. I mean, yeah, that's... Yeah, great variety of stuff. And now's the time of the year to start thinking about... Holiday shopping. Holiday shopping, you oh, know. Oh, it's lurking around the corner. Oh, uh, scary. <laughs> scary. July, July, I think, is when I saw CVS putting out their Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. That's usually when they do it, right, Mike? Mm -hmm. By the way, I wear large if you're going to go down to this and you want to buy right. me something nice. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Um, home decor, candles, beauty products, quilts, leather and woodwork items. There's a lot of people in this community that do woodworking, I noticed. Yeah. A lot of it. Mm -hmm. So there should be I know we have a, not more, a lot more uh, crafters out there that I would love to gather and bring because it just adds a really unique, I think, twist to the event. It's going it's, it's to sound wrong, but there's a lot of crafty people in Amador County. There is. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of crafters. Very artistic people. <laughs> Jewelry, of course, Reiki, you said, um, essential oils, oils. Other natural health products. Jar Watkins. What is that? Um, they, gosh, they've been around a long time. They have spices and all kinds of cooking things. And That's right. 
Yeah. All right, so that is uh, Saturday, October 7th at the Italian Picnic Grounds. Starts at what time? 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Athena Verados, thank you so much. Thank